Welcome to Conservation Invasion. I'm Jax Malcolm, and today we're going to be invading the Gibbon Conservation Center in Santa Clarita, California. Did you know gibbons are apes, not monkeys? And they have no tails! There are over 19 different species of gibbons, and some of the rarest are right inside. Let's invade! Did you know that gibbons are called the songbirds of the primate family? I can't wait to hear them sing! Like us, gibbons live with their families. They also sing with their families. Do you sing with your family? It's time for lunch. Gibbons eat similar things to us, like fruits, vegetables, eggs, but they also eat bugs. I don't really like bugs. Do you? Hi, can you tell me your name and what you do here? Yes, uh, my name is Gabriela Schkoller, and I'm the director of the Gibbon Center. Why was the Gibbon Center started? Uh, it's an interesting story. It started in 1976 by Alan Mutnik, and um, it was like a childhood dream. When Alan was a child, he just really loved Gibbons, and he wanted to create a safe place for Gibbons. So um, when he got a little bit older, like in his 30s, he was looking for rare species of gibbons and also rare bloodlines and bring them into the U.S., pair them up, put them in breeding programs with other zoos and conservation centers, and together they created a captive population for these rare species, a captive population that's genetically diverse. So if something happened in the wild population, this captive population can be used to repopulate areas in the wild. What kind of gibbons live here? We have five species here. Uh, behind us is the northern white cheek gibbons. This species is critically endangered with less than 1,000 left in the wild. And then we also have javan gibbons here. It's an endangered species with less than 5,000 in the wild. And then we have pileated gibbons and a siamang. It's also endangered species. And eastern hulog gibbons, with, which are uh, a vulnerable species. Would a gibbon make a good pet? Oh no, um, so uh, they very, very active and very mischievous and they cannot be toilet trained. So they will ruin your bedroom. They're gonna swing from the light. They're gonna poop and pee everywhere. And uh, as an adult gibbon, they also have very big teeth and they somewhat temperamental. So if they want to get something, they will take it away or they will bite you. So it, it's much better for them if they are housed in uh, zoos or if they are in a wild and they need specific and a healthy diet that's very hard for uh, just the general public to imitate. So um, no, they not make good pets. <laughs> what is the biggest threat to gibbons in the wild? Uh, it depends which area they live. Uh, one of the biggest threat is deforestation. Uh, for plantations like coffee, tea, palm oil plantations, and then also for hardwood, for furniture, for instruments, for uh, paper products. And then the other things is the hunting, hunting for the pet and wildlife trade. And uh, they use their body parts in traditional medications, in ceremonies, and uh, they killing the, the parents and taking the babies and selling them as a pet. What an incredible invasion! Aren't gibbons amazing? Remember, the biggest threat to our friends the gibbons is habitat loss, so we need to make sure to watch out for palm oil in our food. We want to thank the Gibbon Conservation Center for letting us invade. I'm Jax Malcolm, and I'll see you next time on Conservation Invasion.